Hello, my name is Thomas, also known as the Cheese Baron, and today I will show you how to use the view pager in Xamarin Android. So let's fire up a new project. I'll just want to put it somewhere else. Project select folder. So let's call it view pager test. So you might know this kind of view from Windows Phone where they use the pivot and the panoram control to make this horizontal kind of gesture to switch between uh, controls or entire pages. Um, this is also available in Android for you to use. In order to use that you need to add a component from the component store which is called the support v4 package which provide this functionality. So let's add that to the app. And when it's done downloading, it will add a reference to Xamarin Android support v4. Okay, cool, let's clean this up. And let's call this a fragment activity because we are going to use fragments in this case. So let's remove this count. Okay, so let's go into the layout for this activity. And then we're going to add the view pager to it. However, you're not going to see the view pager uh, view inside of the toolbox. So you have to add it manually to the layout. And it's called Android support v4 view view pager. And let's give it a nice ID that is recognizable. So let's call it view pager. And we want to make it fill on both directions and it doesn't have a text property. So let's remove that. So when you go back to the designer you got get this nice gray view because Xamarin Android doesn't support rendering uh, custom views in the Android designer yet. Hopefully that will be added at some point in the future. So let's make a field for the view pager here pager like this and let's populate that so view pager equals find view by ID and here it's important to use either the uh, crocodile mouths here uh, or use Jav Java cast to to get the correct type uh, if you're using the parenthesis casts like this you might encounter some errors that you don't like. So use this type of casting. So it was called resource ID view pager like this. Cool. So <clears throat> we need to populate this view pager with some fragments. So let's create a new fragment. So public class awesome fragment fragment and this has a nice method called on create view that that we want to use to define what's going to be inside of it so let's create a new layout new item android layout let's just call it awesome and let's add a text view let's write awesome inside of it and let's add a frame layout which we will give a an awesome color so let's remove these these are not needed we want to match the parent width and let's make it 100 dp high we don't need the ID for anything, so let's just remove that and use background to give it a color. Uh, DD11, this should give us a nice green color like this. Cool. Let's just close this. So we need to inflate this view. Raw view. We'll just use the inflator that comes with the method, which is pretty nice. So inflator, inflate, resource, layout, awesome, 
Now we need to pass in the container, with it, which is also passed in, and we don't want to attach to that. That will give some uh, strange results in some specific cases. I won't get into that in this demo. Okay, so now we only need to create a, an adapter for the view pager, uh, which will populate the view pager with the awesome fragments we've just made. So public class awesome fragments adapter. And here you'll notice that they are, there are two types of adapters. There's fragment pager adapter and there's fragment state pager adapter. In this case, I'm going to use fragment page adapter. However, you should notice that the state page adapter adds some nice methods for uh, if you want to save the instance state of each fragment when, for instance, someone calls you and your app is backgrounded or you're closing the app and you will you want to get back to the app uh, at a later point, then you can use this fragment state page adapter to to handle handle this state for you but in this case we're just going to use fragment page adapter so it wants a constructor we're just going to use this one which passes a fragment manager which is needed for this and then we need to imp implement a property called count and uh, get view get item uh, method so the count defines how many fragments there are in the view pager. Let's just say there are five, and then we want to return our uh, awesome fragment. But here you could uh, define your own different types of fragments, and from the position you could tell it which fragment should be shown where. Okay, so we just need to assign this adapter. So new, awesome fragment adapter. And it needs the fragment manager. In this case, it's the support fragment manager because we are using the support v4 package. And this should be it. So if I press the green start button here, hopefully everything should run and be shown in the emulator here. Okay, so now you see the view that I made in, in the designer. Uh, and if I drag this view to the left, there's nothing. But if we drag it to the right, hey, another fragment and another fragment. And there should be five here in total. And this is essentially the view pager control for Xamarin and Android or Android in general. but. This is how you use it in Xamarin Android, which is very similar to Android. So yeah, there you have it.